Hello everyone, it's March and so time for a new prompt within the Facebook group. Um, I co-host a Facebook group called the Mixed Media Emporium with Kylie Koo and each month we set a new prompt for the members. Um, so if anybody is interested in taking part in this prompt, I'll leave the link to the Mixed Media Emporium in the description box below. So feel free to come and join us. Now the prompt for this month is creative envelopes. Um, throughout the month we're going to be sharing ideas as to projects that you can make using envelopes um, and today I'm going to be revisiting the accordion file folder that I did oh I don't know two and a half three years ago it must have been and I'm going to see if I can simplify the whole of the process now I'm going to be using some envelopes that um, I purchased from Tiger I'm not sure whether they still have these because I've had these probably for a couple of years um, but what I like about these envelopes is that they're a nice and um, sturdy weight so I'm hoping that this will cut down um, on some of the steps that I did in the previous video. I had to use washi and duct tape to strengthen the envelopes in the previous project um, just to add some strength and um, I'm hoping that because these are nice and thick I won't need to do that. These measure 14 by 14 centimetres or 5 by 5 and a half inches and I've got five of these um, so one two three four five five of these and I've also got um, a piece of one of my mixed media master boards so I'm going to use this as the cover um, for my um, accordion. Um, this is just a, a part of it, but this is this is big enough. Now, what I've done is I've used um, one of the envelopes as a guide and I don't know whether you can see I've drawn a pencil mark now I'm just going to go slightly proud of this just to give myself a tiny bit um, of wiggle room but that's how I've decided um, the width of the, the paper and if I show you as well um, this will give me a front and a back and a little piece um, left over for the flap you'll see it'll all make sense um, as we go along so what I'm going to do to start off with is, um, is just cut just slightly outside of, of this line here um, just using a craft knife this is too tall to um, be able to use my um, paper trimmer I'm going to go off camera though and do this um, off camera just so that I can concentrate and see what I'm doing so if I hold my envelope up you can see that I've just got a millimeter or so either side of the envelope to spare so I'm happy with that um, now the next um, step is to close the envelopes i'm just going to use a glue stick um, to do to do this i'm working on a piece of deli paper just to catch the mess now this um strip that they've provided on the envelope doesn't go all the way to the edge so i'm going to use um, a glue stick because i want these um firmly shut i'm just going to apply a little bit down the um edge as as well just to close close that gap and i'm going to do this to all five um, of my envelopes so we'll just press that down just make sure that that's glued nice and firmly um, so as soon as I've done the others I'll be right back so all five of my envelopes are now firmly um, closed and I'm just going to take a smidge off the top of each of the envelopes just to give me an opening. Now I've trimmed all my envelopes um, and I ended up trimming them down to um, five inches by five and a half in the end just because I really like the way that that looks. Now you can see on one of these that I've added some washi tape to the top of the opening. Um, that's just to give it a bit of strength because of course these are the areas that are going to um, get most wear and tear. Now when you're choosing a washi tape make sure that you've got a roll that um, has enough tape on it to do all of your envelopes. I'm using five here. Um, this one I think contrasts um, really nicely. Now the easiest way to do this, um, my washi tape measures half an inch and so I've drawn a line here um, a quarter of an inch down on either side um, and I'm just going to draw a line across because this will give me a, a guide as to where to um, add my washi tape and I'll show you um, an easier way to do it with the, with the others. I've also done the same on the back um, so we'll just draw that line across um, then on the others all you need to do um, is then um, that's the top of the envelope so you can just make a make a mark um, there um, and and there which will give you a, a, a guide you don't need to draw the line across you'll need to do that um, front and back and I'll show you what um, I mean in a second so we'll have one one there like that and another one 
another one there so that's your that's your guide so then what you'll be able to do is just use that line as a guide i'm going to um, apply a little bit of extra um, glue because as we know um, washi tape isn't all that sticky and i don't want it coming undone so i've just unraveled my washi tape let me just get rid of that for a second and then you'll just be able to use those pencil marks then as a guide um, just so that they're all nice and even um, and then you can just trim off the edges um, just be careful when you're trimming the edges off though that um, you don't snip into um, your envelope be really careful when you're when you're doing this and then I'm just going to apply a little bit more glue um, that one's not quite straight let me just um, fiddle around with that um, because otherwise that will bug me and then I'm just going to add a little bit more glue on the other side of the washi tape like like this um, again make sure that you've got enough on the on the edges and just tuck it in on the other side of your um, envelope and this will just give you really really neat edges I just think it's a, a nice finishing touch it looks pretty and just makes everything more durable and then you can just use your bone folder then you can move that out of the way you can use your bone folder then just to go in and press it all press it all down so my envelopes are all done now and I just really like how um, that looks. It just really neatens the envelopes um, up and as I said, just um, makes them more durable as well. Now, I don't know whether this is going to be a useful tip for any of you or not. I have got um, an uncooperative um, piece of uh, or roll of washi tape. I've got two and they're both exactly the same. So it's obviously a bad batch, um, but it kept tearing like this. Can you see? Um, where the edge is stuck and I'm just going to show you um, how um, that you can rectify this and still use the roll of washi tape without it um, being an issue let me just get rid of let me just cut that piece um, off there like that um, right okay so if you pull your washi tape and lean towards that um, edge it will just tear nicely and it won't cause you um, an issue and I've managed to do all five envelopes whereas I thought that I was going to have to choose um, a completely different design that's where the um, fault is um, but in the end it wasn't an issue so I hope that that is a useful tip um, for somebody um, th this came from um, Poundland and I don't know whether anybody else is having the same problem with this particular um, design so next you need to prepare your envelopes um, for sticking them together and you'll see here that I've drawn um, a line here um, three quarters of an inch um, either side of the envelope and this will give me the concertina um, so what you need to do is either glue or use um, double-sided tape like I'm doing um, this works absolutely fine for me this is the glue that um, I used for the other concertina envelopes that I've done in the past um, so I'm just going either side of the lines that um, I've made here all the way um, top um, to bottom um, as I say um, just be careful when you're trimming this off that you don't end up slicing through your envelope and then you'll need to um, apply a piece of tape all the way across to the very very edge um, of that washi tape as well um, so we'll apply some more here right across the the top just to the edge of that um, tape there. Same on the bottom. There we go. And then you can do a neater job of this than, than I'm doing. And then you just need to fill in the centre um, as well with tape. And eventually you will end up with something that looks like, like this. So let me just show you what I've got. I've got two envelopes where the tape is all the way round and filled in in the centre. So that's the front and the back. And then, of course, I've just got the envelopes with just tape on one side, three quarters of an inch in um, from the side, which will give me my concertina. Um, so that's what they look like front and back of course I don't need glue on both sides because that will stick um, that together anyway now the easiest way I think to glue these down is to hold them in place and use a bulldog clip so we're just going to um, use this just to keep them together for the time being so just make sure that um, you've got them in the right place 
um, that looks good um, to me. I'm just going to flatten those out for um, for just a second. Um, just make sure that you're happy with it. And then the easiest thing to do then is to take the tape um, away. Let me just, um, and the easiest way to do it is just using a pokey tool. Um, so we'll take a couple of those, a couple of those off like this. The hardest thing is getting the backing of this tape off and then press it, press it down um, and then go on to the next one and remove the next two pieces um, of tape. So here we go. We'll do the same, same again. Remove the next two pieces of, um, of tape, press it down and just keep working your way um, in. There we are. And then I can remove um, the bulldog clips because those are secured in place. Let me just tidy this away and I'll be back. OK, so that's secured. So then you can go from the other side and again, um, just use your pokey tool just to remove the rest of the tape. So remove the last one and then just stick stick that down and then just work your way in again to the to the other pages. And again, we're at that last strip. So peel that off and just press, press that down and I'll just keep working my way along. But you want to keep the tape for the time being on the front and the back. So after you've done that, this is what you will end up with. So there is your concertina, just by making sure that you leave a gap um, at the edge of the envelopes. Um, and I just I just love these. I just think they're so much fun. Now we need to glue it down um, onto our background. But first of all, what I want to do is I've got a Sharpie marker here and I'm going to go around and all of the edges. Um, I'm going to do this off camera because I have a tendency to slip um, and end up ruining mine. Um, so I'm going to do that first um, and then I will take um, a ruler. Um, let me just grab one again and let me just grab a scratch piece of paper to go underneath and I'm just going to apply some sharpie marker just to the inside edges as well because that will just hide any whiteness that we might be left with and just give us a bit of wiggle room you'll see what I mean um, in a minute so I'm just going to go around the edges like like this um, on all of my sides so that's what um, my cover looks like now um, and now I'm ready to glue it down um, and it's really quick after this. Now you need to make sure that your opening is at the bottom because of course if you glue it that way round you're not going to be able to get um, get into it. Um, how do I know? <laughs> um, and you're just going to eyeball this and um, try and line um, your pocket up but then before you stick it down what you want to do um, is just make a mark because we're going to um, add a couple of score lines. So that's the line that I drew. Um, I'm going to go to the next um, score line and trim a little tiny bit off at the top um, just because I think that that's going to be um, easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, and then what I want to do before I do that is um, score another another line because that will give us our our bottom um, and then I just want to pop um, my envelope back on um, let's match it up with with those um, and I can see that I just need to trim just an absolute smidge off the top so now my pocket will fit really neatly um, into the envelope like like that absolutely perfect um, and so now I can just go ahead um, and glue glue that down um, before I do that I just want to make another score line at the top what have I done with my pencil so I'm just going to make myself a mark um, here um, again I can um, grab my scoreboard um, let's have a look and see where the closest you see, I'm going to allow myself a little bit of wiggle room um, again. I'm going to do it, um, do it here. And then, of course, I need to um, allow a little bit for the flap to go over as well. And I'm going to go too deep um, there because I want to allow um, for some room um, once I've filled um, the pocket with, with goodies. So I'm going to go two spaces um, this time. So we'll go, we'll go there 
like like that. So I'm going to rub my pencil mark out. Not that it really makes any difference. You won't be able to see it, but um, there we go, just to tidy it up. I'm going to flip that over and I'm also going to do the score lines on the other side as well. So one here, just so that my um, paper doesn't doesn't crack. I did exactly the same with the other one. I just didn't put the camera on to um, show you. So now I can just fold my envelope like that and I can stick my pocket in. So let's have a look how we're going to do this. I'm just going to just make sure that I've got that um, nice and um, nice and snug. And then I'm going to use a bulldog clip again just to hold it in place. Um, and then I can just take the top layer of tape off. So we'll take the top layer of tape off. Come on, you. Make sure that you are completely uh, happy with this before you stick it down. There we go. And then I can take the bulldog clip off, flip it over and I can remove the rest of the tape. So you can see I've removed all of my tape and so I'm just going to stick it, stick it down. Now, before I glue the back down, I want to do a couple of things. I want to start off by rounding the edges um, just because that's the area that gets the most wear and tear. So if you round them off, um, it just makes it um, more durable. I've found that in the past. So that needs touching up. Um, and the other thing I want to do as well. Now, I could, of course, leave this white. I could add some um, pretty paper, coordinating paper if I wanted to. Um, but all I'm going to do um, is just use my Sharpie marker and I'm just going to draw some lines and um and fill fill that in because white's just going to get marked isn't it so this will just again just make it more durable and will also coordinate with the black washi tape so this is how we're looking now so all i need to do is add some kind of closure and of course um remove the tape and glue this down so i'm going to go off camera and um stick this together and then i'll try and find um a closure now, I don't know whether you can see, but I've got some glue or something there and that's really bugging me. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, a decorative piece to the inside of the card. I like the way that the black um, frames it. I need to decide which way up I want it to go. I think I want it to go that way round. Um, so I'm just going to round the corners. Um, then I'm going to ink around the edges with my, my Sharpie marker. I want it flat um, on the bottom. I only want the rounded corners on the top. Um, and again, I can just apply some um, of my tape just to glue that down. I'm going to do this off camera though, so that I don't um, slip and end up ruining it. Before I glue my little topper um, down, I just want to add a closure. I've got this brad here that I think goes quite well. Um, and I've marked the centre of my flap as well. And I think I want the closure to go about there. I don't want it too close to the edge. So I'm just going to use my pokey tool um, just to make the, the hole. Um, then I can po poke it through and flatten it flatten it down. Um, now, I don't want um, the brad too tight um, because I want to be able to wrap some um, string as a closure around it. So I'm leaving a bit of a, a gap. I don't know whether you can um, see that there. Um, so let's just open, open that out and then I'm going to glue um, my little topper on top, which will hide um, the prongs. Um, so that's that's that. So again, in with my pokey tool, just to remove the red tape and and stick it down. So let's just pop this into into place. And again, you just want to concentrate on what you're doing with with this because once it's down, that's it. You're stuck with it where it is. Right there we go. I'm happy happy with that. Isn't that neat? So I've just got some of this um, hemp twine that I'm going to use as a closure. So I'm just going to tie a couple of knots just to secure it in place. One will go over in the other direction um, there, like, like that. Um, then I can um, just trim it 
um, slightly. I'm going to leave a bit of a tail, I think. And then how many times shall I wrap it round? One, two, three, I think. And so I'm just going to trim that there like that. And then, of course, all I need to do then is just, just wrap that round um, again, just to secure it in, in place. There we are. I'll leave it um, slightly longer um, for when it gets um, when it gets fatter. So when it's closed, of course, that's what it looks like, front and back. I just think these are so much fun and really easy to make. And that has definitely cut down on the um, time it takes to make them. So, of course, you can fill these with all kinds of, um, of things, you know, bits and pieces of it, ephemera. They make great gifts for, for giving in Happy Mail as well. So let's just close this again just so that you can um, see how, how that works. I just think those are so, so sweet. Now, I just want to show you another really quick method for making these concertina file folders. I've got five more envelopes here. These are slightly different. Um, these are uh, thinner envelopes, but, you know, they'll do. They'll, they're fine. And I've got this um, book of scrapbooking paper, The Essential Craft Papers by Craft Consortium, and it's called um, Eastern Influences. And it's just absolutely beautiful. I mean, there are some stunning papers in this. It really is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and and I've cut um, a piece here. I'm going to use both of these um, this time. So I've cut this to the width of the envelopes. Um, I've glued um, the flaps together in exactly the same way and trimmed the tops off. Um, now, I've also drawn my lines. Where are they? Here we go. Um, because that's where I need to apply my glue. Now, I'm not going to bother with any washi tape um, this time. Um, that one's going to be... Now, the other thing I want to tell you as well is that this, these envelopes here have got um, a seam. And I want that to go at the back so that you can't really um, see it. Um, so I'll be working on the side with the flap this time. Um, and so what I'm going to do is just apply some glue to um, this area here so this time i'm just going to use some of my fabri tac um, let me just get rid of that and grab a piece of deli paper so here we go we'll work on a piece of deli paper to catch all the all the mess and i need a new bottle that one's run out now this is three in one beacon three in one which is exactly the same as fabri tac and what i'm going to do is oh try and do it really thinly i forgot when um it's a brand new bottle it comes out really really quickly so i'm going to add the glue right up to the um pencil lines that i've made here go right um, along the bottom fill in the center as well um, now, because of this being acetone glue, I'm not going to get any, any warping, hopefully. Um, so we'll see how we get on with this. So that should, that should be enough um, glue there. And so I'm going to stick on one of my, my envelopes. Um, so again, let's just move that out of the way uh, for a second. Just try and get these together as neatly and evenly as you as you can. You have got um, a bit of wiggle room. It's not as easy as when you're using um, the tape, but um, it is it is doable. And then, of course, you're just going to want to smooth smooth it out. Um, then I'll need to apply glue um, to the envelope again um, just inside the pencil marks that I've made here I don't want it on the sides because that's what's going to create my concertina in exactly the same way as it did with the with the tape so this is a much much quicker method but um, I'm not sure how sturdy it's going to be we'll soon find out now my envelopes are all glued together and I'm just pulling them apart before I go and weight them down with a heavy book just to make sure that none of that glue has seeped inside because I want to weight these down just to make sure that it sticks together nicely um, and doesn't wrinkle. Um, but of course I don't want to glue my flaps together either. So as I say, just wipe off any excess glue that you might have. I'm going to put a piece of deli paper there like that bear with me and then I've got some a heavy book with a brick and I'm just going to weight that down for about 10 minutes or so so my envelopes have been um, weighted down for about 10 minutes or so and um, they're nice and flat no warping I'm really happy with those actually so that is the front now this is the paper that I'm going to be using so it's double-sided and I want to have this as the front 
so i will be gluing my envelopes on there like 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 that um, before i do that though um, because i'm not adding any washi tape um, to the envelopes what i've decided to do is cut some circles out of this spare piece of paper this is the other half of this paper here and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my two and a half inch circle punch and I'm just going to punch some circles. Please don't jam on me. I don't seem to have much luck with these um, recently, although I did discover that um, a good um, spray of WD-40 does do the trick. Now I only need three, um, and I just need to decide as well um, which side I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use this side here. So what I want to do is fold um, these in half, um, and I'm just going to use these to strengthen the envelopes because, of course, I'm not using any washi tape. It's this area here that's going to get the most use. So I, I, I need four. One, two, three, four, because, of course, that will be glued to the back. That will be glued to the front. So I do need to punch um, another one out. I can't count. <laughs> so we'll punch another one out and then I'm going to fold them all um, in half. There we go. So... We'll fold these in half as well. And as soon as I've done that, I shall be back. Now I've made a mark on the front here, roughly at the centre point of my um, envelopes. And what I'm going to do is just apply some Fabri-Tac. Um, I keep calling it Fabri-Tac, it's not. This is three in one, same stuff. I'm going to apply some glue all over my circle like this. And then I'm just going to use my finger just to drag it um, to the edge because I just want to make sure that I've just got plenty on those edges so that they don't start lifting. So there we go. Um, I had a tissue somewhere. Where's it gone? And then quickly, because um, this stuff dries really quickly, I'm going to go to my first um, envelope section. And of course, because I've marked that in the centre, I'm just going to put that roughly, roughly there. Um, and just press it down. Um, now that's a bit lopsided, so you've got a bit of wiggle room with this. Just make sure that you get it um, nice and straight. And then I'm going to um, add the other three half circles. Um, and that will just um, help when you're flicking through, if you know, I fill these with ephemera or whatever I do with them, um, that will take most of the wear and tear and just help it to last just a little bit longer. And of course it looks pretty too. So that's how the um, envelopes look now with the little um, semicircles inside. I just think that's really pretty. Now, I want this to be the cover of my folder and I want it this way up. So that's where I need to um, add my glue. So I'm just going to add glue all over the front um, here. So again, we'll just use the acetone glue. And I'm going to smooth it out all the way to the um, edges just to make sure it sticks, sticks firmly. So I'll do that first. Oh, I've missed a bit. And then I'll apply it to the centre as well. So just going in with my finger just to make sure that I am completely to that um, edge. I've missed a bit there as well. There we are. And then all the way to the edge at the top as well. And then just plenty um, in the middle. Working as quickly as I can because this does dry quickly. There we go. And then put the lid back on and stick, stick this down. Um, so where's the top? That's the top. Um, remember that you want it this way round, otherwise you won't be able to open your folder. And I just want to line that up with the top of my, my little discs. So I'm just going to um, play around with this and make sure that it's um, it's down properly. Um, and just smooth it, smooth it out. You have got a little bit of wiggle room with them um, with this. That looks good to me. So let's just give that a good good smooth especially at the edges and let's just make sure that it's stuck down um, and then i'm 
I'm going to grab my um, scoreboard again. I do want to use my scoreboard, I think, for this. It's um, it's just neater. Um, so I'm going to have my first line here. There we are. Second one there. So we'll make, make those folds. Um, and then again, how do I want this to, to go? I'll have my next score line here and one, one there like that. And there we are. So that is another finished um, little pouch. I just think that's gorgeous. Um, so I need to glue um, this down on the back um, now. So again, I'm just going to do that with my acetone glue. So that's all glued down now. Um, and I'm just going to round my corners in exactly the same way as I did before. And then I just need to find um, a matching um, closure. I just think these are so, so, so cute. Now I've chosen um, this brad here and I've already marked the centre and poked my hole. Um, but uh, before I do anything, what I want to do um, is just glue this down. Um, I've just punched out another circle, um, tried to line up the pattern. So I just want to um, add some glue just to this side here for the time being. Um, so I'm just going to add some glue. You'll see why I'm doing this in a in a second. Um, this will add some strength to the to the front as well because of course you know this cardstock isn't um, as heavy duty as my own masterboard. Um, I would say this is probably about 200, 250 GSM, whereas the masterboard, of course, was 400. So, oh, whoops, Daisy, come back. I'm just going to glue um, that down and I'm going to line it up with the pattern um, that's already on the front. And then you'll never you'll never notice. That's a really good match, actually. So I'm just going to hold that down for a second and then I need to repunch my hole. Here we go. So punch it through and whoops it Daisy, I didn't mean to slam slam that down like that. And then I'm going to poke my brad through. This is really fiddly. Um, go on, in you go. There we are. Um, and again, just like I did before, I want to leave a little bit of room um, so that I can put some string around it. So, so not too tight. There we go, about about there I think and then I need to add some glue on the other side and that will just hide my closure so I've applied my glue and I'm just going to press that firmly down and hold it in place I think I'll do it um, from this this way round actually there we are isn't that pretty I just love that that matches really really well now this time I've decided um, on this twine um, here this natural garden twine so again I'm just going to tie it around my brad in exactly the same way as I did before. And we'll tie it at the, the top as well. There we are, that, that will hold that in place and then I can trim that slightly. And then just wrap it, wrap it around. One, two, three, I think, in fact, what I want to do is probably go in the opposite direction, don't I? So one, two, three, there we go. Trim, trim that off there. And then I can wrap it around my little closure. And that's another one. I just love these so much. Isn't that paper gorgeous? I carried on making um, yesterday. Once I started, I just couldn't stop. Um, these are all different and the brads I've used as closures are all different. So let me just open them up and I'll show you what they're like um, inside. They're all slightly different inside um, as well. And then I'll show you um, what you can make with some of the leftovers as well, especially if you're planning on giving these away in um, Happy Mail. So of course, this is the one that you saw me um, make um, with a little um, cut out discs. I just love how that works. Uh, and I just think these look so very pretty as well. So there's that one there with them um, with that design on the inside. This one is slightly different because it's got the um, Hamza hands. Um, and also this one has got um, rectangles um, using the leftovers as opposed to punched out um, punched out circles. I'll tell you why in, in, in a second. And then this one here, um, I did 
just by punching out the circles here. Now this works really well um, on this one. You can see the two designs as well. I just like having the coordinated um, disc here, which I think just to add something. These envelopes were glued together using um, three in one um, and that worked really well. Um, this one, I glued the envelopes together using a glue stick, um, but it was just too sticky on the edge. I'd originally punched these out um, using my circle punch. I'll show you how I did that in a second. Um, you can see sort of, you know, the half circles at the, at the back. And so I ended up covering them then. And the reason I used rectangles was because the circles weren't quite big enough, but I just think that looks really pretty um, nonetheless so that's that one um, there now to punch out the um, circles where's my template gone bear with me right okay I'm organized now if you just want to do something simple um, and just cut um, a little disc out of the envelopes like this without sort of any more gluing all you have to do um, is make yourself a template now I used the packaging that was in the pack of envelopes because it's exactly the same size as the envelopes then if you're using five you need to make sure that all your envelopes are facing in the same direction pop your um, template on as a guide and then just use your um, circle punch here and line it up and that way all of the envelopes that you punch will be um, in the same position you can see here that all of those semicircles all line up so really really easy to do now if i compare these with the one i made with my masterboard um, the shape's slightly different um, but because i have my masterboard printed on 400 gsm um, paper and use thicker envelopes it's just much much sturdier I mean you can see um, how flimsy that is whereas this really um, is nice and um, sturdy so this although it's a bit more time consuming I think is still my preferred um, method of choice um, but if you you know have got um, a lot of happy mails or you know swaps to um, make then these are just absolutely ideal because they just take a fraction of the time and I just think they're still really really pretty so you know I don't don't think these would last as long as perhaps this one here but they're just different different takes on on the same idea um, and I love all of them now I have some um, scraps left over and so I've just made some of my um, handmade buttons so if I was giving these away in happy mail then I think if you added these um, to a little pouch maybe something like this I got these from um, China so let's make sure that they're all um, in the same direction you can see that I've used gold um, to go around the edges I used black and gold on, on these ones here just to tie in with the black um, that's on the, on the edges um, so just pop them in a little bag and then that will fit um, in one of the pouches um, and then I've made some in this design as well I mean those are just absolutely gorgeous and again I've just gone um, around the edges with my with my treasure gold um, these ones here to go with with this little um, folio um, I did two different designs so I did some in the red and then some um, with the paper that was on the opposite side um, and then this one here I did exactly the same thing so um, these buttons are to, uh, to match this one here so the sum of the paper that's um, that's on the front those those ones there and then three um that are um, the same paper that's that's on the back so i just think those are just really sweet um extras to include within something like this if you were making it for a happy mail project so if anyone would like to know how to make these cute little buttons i'll leave the link to the process video in the description box below it's one that i shared a couple of weeks ago um using my master board they're really quick to make so just to remind you, the prompt this month is creative envelopes. I'll also leave the link to Kylie's video this week in the description box below because she'll be sharing more ideas as to how you can use envelopes creatively. Um, but if you enjoyed my video today, as always, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, I'd really appreciate you um, considering hitting that subscribe button and let me know what you think in the comments below. So take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.